Ciao a tutti, bentornati. Since this month is Pride Month, I want to show you how to make these delicious and colorful, huge ravioloni. I hope you, you like the way they look. All the colors are made uh, by hand, but everything is natural. I didn't buy any colors. The blue is crazy looking, so powerful, and I'm loving it. Over here I have some bacon that is like frying up and it's gonna be delicious and I'm actually so ready to try them. But these ravioloni have a feeling of ricotta inside. Each of them has a full yolk in the middle that hopefully once cooked is gonna be super runny and super delicious. I decided to kind of make like a revisited like a bit of a transformed carbonara so i added obviously ricotta which does not go no no and also i'm using bacon again don't come for me i know it's guanciale but i can't find it here <laughs> it's not my fault i tried my best so if you want to learn how to make this delicious raviolone keep watching and if you want to learn other italian recipes as usual please subscribe and if you have any questions or comments or anything that you would like me to know, please leave it down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram because, yes, because, please follow me on Instagram. In order, I use beetroot, carrot, spinach, blue pea flower, and red cabbage. The carrots, I just simply steam them. I boil the red cabbage and then I let it thicken so that uh, it would get like more color into it. Over here, I'm just blanching some spinach. You can do this with any kind of vegetable and it's gonna make the green really pop. And what you gotta do is just boil it for a second and then put it in some ice water and that is gonna shock this poor spinach and they're gonna stay green and beautiful. And now I'm making some nice blue pea tea. Look at that color, but it smells like ass. Right? Over here, I'm just doing the carrots. I'm just blending the carrots really quickly with some water. Blendy, blendy. Over here, I got all the spinach. Same thing, same thing. Look at that blue. Just saying, it's pretty cool. And yeah, just let it restrict as usual. The thicker it is, the more color. And here I have the beetroot that really looked very colorful, but definitely did not dye my pasta as much. So sad. Shall we make these beauties? Woohoo! I used one teaspoon of turmeric. I think this one colored so beautifully. The yellow was super bright. Just making the dough as normal. So I'm gonna make it quick, 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 quick. <laughs> Here it is. Beautiful. With the orange, uh, I used the carrots and then I added some of the um, beets. But I have to say, it didn't come out as bright as I thought it would come out. The green came out just fine. These blue peas, I have to say they stink, but oh my god, look at that color. That's amazing. I was so surprised. Yes! And then the purple was a pretty nice color, not too dark. Not too bad, not too bad. For last, I'm making the red. So if you follow this order, you can use the same bowl for all the colors. But yeah, so the red came out pretty nicely. I have to say it wasn't as strong as I thought it would be. Oh my god, you look so cute. <laughs> While they rest, let's get to the filling. So I'm going to use ricotta, pecorino, a lot of it. And when you think it's enough, it is not. It always needs more. And then pepper, mix it up and put it in your sac à poche. And in the fridge it goes. Now that all the ingredients are ready and waiting for me, let's start making these pasta sheets. Start with the orange. I actually made a double portion of all the pasta just because it was so much work that, you know, I wanted to have some more to keep for later. So I'm going to make two of the orange sheets so that I have one for the stripes and one for the bottom since I chose that color, but you can do whatever other color, you can double that and make the bottom. So when you're making your pasta sheets, always start by flattening your small little piece and then you're gonna make it go through at the largest setting and then try to make it as rectangular as possible and then after you have a nice shape you can just make it go through all the way to the second to last setting i'm gonna make all these colors go through and look how beautiful they look these blue eyes to god is like so freaking cool and remember to keep your pasta covered moist and to separate it with plastic wrap so my first try was to make tagliatelle, I'm not sure why, but I guess I thought I was gonna make like a full rainbow and I forgot the fact that I was actually making the flag. So then I stared at the pasta machine for a few minutes in complete uh, confusion. But then 
I got back into it and I started cutting larger strips and then I started putting them together, you know, following the right order for the flag. Try to put them quite close to each other so that once you put it through a machine, it doesn't like open and make some weird lines in between. And then yeah, once you, you like your little composition, just smush it in the machine. Man, look at that bust. I'm super happy with how it came out. I love the colors and here is me posing with it because I'm very proud. All right, let's start piping some ricotta on this beautiful pasta. So what you're gonna make is pretty much just a little nest. And then into that delicious nest, we are going to put some egg yolks. Oh yeah. Oh yeah! You can love it! Oh my God, I definitely will eat that. Spray, spray. Start by cutting the top rainbow layer into big squares and put it over your filling and then try your best to get all the air out. After that, I'm going to cut it using a big O mug and then I'll help myself with a little pasta cutter and get the sides out of the way. Here I have some bacon frying and some salted boiling water and in goes my, oh, my poor raviolo, save him. Oh, he's fine. There he goes, make it cook for four or five minutes, I would say. Ooh, look at that yolk in there. Drain it and put it in the pan with that delicious bacon fat. If you're on a diet, then skip it. But come on, just a little bacon fat and then Top it off with some pepper and some pecorino flakes. And here it is. Here I am, forking hand. I am very, very ready. I think it looks pretty dang good. It smells delicious and I think it looks really cute. Let's taste test it. <laughs> Look at all the egg. Maverick. Mm. Mm. Yes, you came in the right moment. Holy freaking dick. Catch. <laughs> It definitely does taste like a carbonara, apart from the ricotta, but it's so uh, full of pecorino that it like tastes pretty much like it. So creamy. Mmm. That is delicious. You can like taste the... Um, <laughs> you can taste the, um, the vegetables that I put in the pasta, but just like remotely. Like while you, you, you bite into it, you're like, mmm. Mm. <laughs> so dank. I am so happy with how this came out. And I am very happy that you came out well because, you know, it took a while. Mm. 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 He's a good catcher. Good boy. You can make the same recipe, just take out the colors and it's much easier, much faster. But I feel like this looks so cute. I love how they came out. I'm very happy. This was really fun to do. And with all the parts of the pasta that, uh, you know, are, are left, all the mixed colors and stuff. I'm gonna make more tagliatelle. I'm just gonna finish this and yeah, that's all. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. If you liked the video, then please leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see more content. If you try this out, as usual, please let me see it. <laughs> I'm waiting for someone to show me. Hope you enjoyed this pride dish and I hope that, I don't know, that it's a good celebration for all the people that are part of the LGBTQ plus community and yeah, thank you. Bye. I'm an animal. No.